Right, so what I'm trying to endeavour to do is to, to get the right colours together and to portray myself very subtly in a way that people understand my identity without having to ask. And what should I tell them? Yeah. As I'm standing here now, I've got the bandana, which is my new trademark. My boss says, bandana man. So I've come up with everything I do is bandana manner. Yeah, this is a way, it's an evolution of the way things work, yeah. Now, um, colours, colours and matches, all right. I'm gravitated towards military colours, whatever. That is subconscious with me. I was a military child and I was in the TA as well. I never went into the regulars, but this sort of uh, equipment actually, it makes me feel more masculine it is, it is part of my identity however like i said before i do not want to be seen with camouflage combat gear out in public doing airsoft on the other hand is a different matter now camouflage itself is a blend of uh, colors with patterns you see this one this is a ski coat it's a camouflage pattern i don't know where it's from it's a ski coat and it's a civilian coat However, you can see it's got greeny greys and black. Okay, there's three different shades there. All right, I'll come back to that. That I bought from a charity shop. Now, this is the more, uh, the older type of camouflage that the British Army used to wear. Not anymore. But if we uh, take a look, you can see that it has browns, greens, black, khaki, yeah nice blend it's a bit of a heavy heavy color yeah it's quite dark itself um, this is very good for woodland yeah maybe in the spring not in the winter guys who were in the british army that are of my age will know this one quite well all right there's still plenty of equipment about that you can buy this is brand new and we've got this for eugene for air softing right now trousers i'm wearing is a different pattern altogether and i have my equipment here for air softing and you can see the colors are a lot lighter and the tones in there you can see if i bring it up closer you can see greens browns and then there's the khaki color yeah so that's a good blend that is actually a good blend and now what um uh, real style real men real style was talking about is if you're going to go rugged is to get these this combination of stuff olive drab for me is spot on so i want to work around there and i can use browns and you can use khakis with it and apparently dark blue works as well now when you go and you have a look at people on the street if they're dressed well they will have uh, complementary colors or contrasting colors now i know this is a strange example but if you look at the colors and how they match together do they feel right because they certainly do for me what i have here is a, a burgundy or I don't, what would you call it crimson i don't know dark blue and an orange yeah okay and then of course you also have the uh, olive drab this color is absolutely everywhere i like this shirt it's just one of those house coats man when i'm in that sort of mood now just another thing and i didn't realize this until i started to understand about the color color combinations this is uh, the pillow off my uh, bed covers yeah and you can see that you've got two types of green and you've also got a uh, light sand color yeah so the colors go quite well don't they yeah and i looked at it i thought oh hell <laughs> look it's another combination of these colors now you'll see this women wear these combination of colors men wear these combination of colors and now that's the key to what i was looking at so first of all when I went to the shops, um, I went to a charity shop. You've just seen the coat that I bought, which I wear for work, and we'll talk about that in a little while. A brown leather jacket. I saw this, that cost six pounds. And on the inside, it has a map. So what this is, a motorcycle jacket. It's soft brown leather. And this is actually, um, it's quite an expensive piece. 
I was surprised actually that um, looking on Google that this uh, because it's um, not um, one consistent leather texture it's actually uh, very very good quality leather and now this is about three four hundred pounds in cost plus it, it the brown suits me I like it but now what I need to do is to make a kit up for the colors to match properly so I don't look like a dick yeah gray brown do they go together I don't think they do now you can see instantly the way the the lining is okay you got brown you got two different browns there yeah and according to the fashion specialist what I should do is have a, a pair of shoes of this color as well and that will set it off right maybe with a pair of blue jeans or khaki chinos yeah not these these are these are actually nice chino style with a pleat here yeah but olive drab yeah with a khaki t-shirt bang I'm done wouldn't you say so anyway what I've been doing I've also uh, been around the, the the shops quite a lot this costs actually uh, 10 pounds heavy dark brown leather jacket it's very very heavy I'm not sure I like it now you can buy these uh, this is a Wallace Sachs one uh, you can buy these on eBay for about 20 quid and that's a very worn jacket I'm not 100% sure about that might need to match the clothes to go with it yeah uh, actually what I'll do is I'll put these away first of all and then I'll talk about what I have actually matched up which is more interesting and then you see where I'm coming from yeah okay for this jacket which I bought from a uh, charity shop for uh, six pounds again very good condition you can see it's a gray it's got a little bit of a, a green tinge to it not too much of one this is what I use to bike to work in the cold weather and I need I do not need to wear this daff um, where I work I don't need to to wear this particularly um, but I do need to wear a hat and something to keep my neck warm and I need gloves as well as some warm trousers yeah now my work trousers are uh, here which are reinforced they got knee padding and everything else and I, I wear three pairs black and then I've got a gray that all actually matches in together I know it's pedantic but it seems to work I can also wear uh, a gray jumper or even a darker jumper like that and taking in consideration I wear this for an hour per day yeah that i clock up the, the the time wearing this jacket so it it's fits well and it's comfortable and it's warm for riding a cycle okay now i think that blue jeans would go well with it if i have to wear the coat anywhere else okay blue jeans do go well with that color or perhaps olive olive actually matches all right with that which is okay so i can minimize how many clothes that i have so if I've got three pairs of trousers, five shirts, and uh, three jackets, for instance, and three pairs of boots, I'm fine. The boots that I have for CV wear at the moment, they're browns, and they're not the best of condition. I need to change those, yeah, but I need a black pair as well. I will be talking about my work boots in a while. The other bonus about this coat, which I found great, is that I can do it up here, which means that I'm not having wind blow up. Um, while I'm bike riding as this rides up my back when I'm leaning over my bike okay and it also has um, an extension piece in here which is very practical for where I'm wearing gloves I have my hand in here and it doesn't have the wind blow up in here yeah this is a ski jacket yeah I'm pretty sure this costs about 30 pounds Glacier Point ski wear uh, I will Google that later and see what it, what sort of cost it is, but this is this is a durable piece of equipment and I like it. It's pretty good, yeah. So instead of going for um, a multitude of um, clothes, then what I'm doing is trying to minimise what I wear and change my image completely because I don't want people at work seeing me outside and recognising me by the coat, yeah. What does lend itself is uh, orange orange goes with grey and it goes with black yeah I could if I want to wear something uh, an orange flash in there 
as a bit of an ID marker, which I might get an orange scarf just to, to, to as, a, as a, a contrast, yeah? They say that grey and black are non-colours. It doesn't matter whether they are colours or not colours. As far as I'm concerned, these this is a colour to me. This light brown leather jacket, this motorcycle jacket, it does give a, an impression of, uh, uh, of strength, but it's also refined because the leather's actually really, really nice. Now, what I'm deciding to do is to either have a pair of rugged chinos, okay, or, use the dark blue jeans because the dark blue jeans seem to go very well with this problem is is having the uh, the shirt now i would have thought if i mix these colors like this you can see here what sort of effect i'm going to get with this combination yeah there's a three color combination. I don't know if it's right. I feel with me that that possibly could be. Or I could reverse the colors, have something green at the top. Okay, let's have a look. Something green at the top and then blue down here, possibly like that. And then what I want to do is to match a pair of shoes, boots, to this sort of color so it, it sort of uh, complements yeah I'll be wearing something like braces in here rather than wearing a belt so I'm not going to get a belt of this color but that would match if I had a belt uh, that was similar to this yeah this is what I'm thinking this is how I'm trying to work it to keep a uh, camouflage type of uh, arrangement then I want to be doing this sort of thing yeah and maybe if i have something uh like a light khaki on the top here maybe that will work tell me what you think style is very individual and um i'm trying to work something out to communicate a message to people of what i'm about yeah and i'm sure you'll do the same thing these aren't your favorite colors these happen to this happens to be my favorite color this one i like very much and it matches the table as well yeah and this color is not too bad at all so i'm sort of like this is what i'm working around yeah to get right next thing to do is to get the right clothes with the right texture and the right fit okay so for a different combination this is a blue which is for for eugene i bought the coat for three pounds bomber jacket which is in very good condition this was from a sue riders uh, charity shop orange liner which is bang it's quite bright orange goes with gray yeah i also have got him a uh, stripy shirt that actually i got from ebay and it's also uh, colorless yeah the jumper came from a charity shop three pounds so that's six pounds uh that's eight pounds okay so that's 14 pounds and then the blue jeans as well okay all of this combination and you can see that all of this combination goes really well together and he looks quite smart with this with this kit on this is one one of his going out um get ups so you can see how i've been learning from the masters if if you like the color makes a hell of a difference and the combination of of, of how you bring the colors together is really important one of the other things is fit okay when you fit something together it's got to fit nicely and fit you well and the material has got to be quite nice however this uh, plastic from a distance it's nylon isn't it or polyester it looks okay yeah he looks very smart in it and he's very very warm which is the main thing this is what i'm concerned about with, with, for my boy yeah i will uh, just uh, show you this for laughs this is uh, one of my t-shirts i wear as a joke brace yourself it's probing time basically when you uh, do electrical work then you'll be back probing and I, I do this as a bit of a joke and some people understand it some people don't but it's it's just one of these things i like plain t-shirts um with the trade um red seems to be a good one i do not like bright red this is mac tools i don't have a snap-on t-shirt 
yeah which I should do I should have one of these gray is usually my color and of course I wear this one now if you can uh, read this I am a HDV technician because freaking miracle worker is not a job title yeah and I wear that when I'm uh, talking to my boss I, I will wear that and open my overalls out so he can see that and there's a clear message he can read and he understands what I'm saying the t-shirt I like the best is this type this is sexy yeah this has got a, an open top okay with buttons so if I was to for instance put that in here like that you can see what the buttons are like uh, oh, I don't know if you can actually hang on yeah you can see the buttons there now what I am thinking of, of wearing as well is things like cravats or scarves to cover my neck up because I'm starting to get a little bit wrinkly yeah so anyway this is just a little bit of a, a smashing what I'm going to do is get rid of most of this stuff this stuff is car boot sale uh, um, type uh, sales except for this t-shirt which has actually got holes in it now that is only workwear yeah and I shall be getting a new set of t-shirts which I'm going to have to buy new that fit me